10 quick, 10 quick multiple choice questions. Question one, out of the table A, B, C, D, which row is correct? How many electrons can the second energy level hold? What is the standard temperature in Kelvin? What is the shape around the carbon of the carbon-carbon double bond? What is the catalyst used in the Haber process? Which of these alkanes has the lowest boiling point? What is the colour change seen in the oxidation of tertiary alcohols? What are the units of enthalpy change? Which has the highest atomic radius from the atoms lithium to carbon? And finally, to three significant figures, how many moles of sodium ions are there in a kilogram of sodium oxide? So which row is correct? Well, the highest boiling point is the longest chain hydrocarbon, and so it's one of these two. And which is the most reactive of sodium and potassium? It's potassium. So row D was the right answer. How many electrons can the second energy level hold? And the answer is eight. The standard temperature in Kelvin is 298. What is the shape around the carbon of the carbon-carbon double bond? The answer is trigonal planar. What is the catalyst used in the Haber process? The answer is iron. Which has the lowest boiling point? And so that's going to be the shortest alkane with the weakest van der Waals forces between its molecules. And so the answer is propane. The reason I've put propane and pentane in here is because students often get these two P's mixed up. Propane has three carbons, pentane has five. What is the colour change seen in the oxidation of tertiary alcohols? Tertiary alcohols can't be oxidised, so there would be no colour change. What are the units of enthalpy change? Kilojoules per mole. So it's this one here. Number nine, which has the highest atomic radius from the atoms lithium to carbon? Well, it's the one furthest to the left in the period. These are all in the same period, period two. And so the answer is lithium. And the final question, how many moles to three significant figures of sodium ions in a kilogram of sodium oxide? So the first thing we need to do is work out how many moles of sodium oxide we've got. So that's a thousand grams divided by the MR, which is 62. And that comes out at 16.129 moles of sodium oxide. Every mole of sodium oxide has two moles of sodium ions in. And so we would need to double that. That's 32.258. So to three significant figures, the answer would be this one here, 32.3 moles. How did you do?